Hi, this will be a short video on some JavaScript and HTML and CSS. And uh, what I want to do is walk through creating kind of a, a screen swapping kind of animation, right? So you can imagine what if I had like a screen here in my app and you wanted to click a button there and swap it for another screen. You'd have the whole thing slide to the left or right. And then you can use these ideas to build larger, more complex um, animation, but this is just a simple step, right? So essentially what I have here is I have a, um, you know, um, a div with another div inside and, and a, a link. And then there's a second div right beside this one off the screen over here on the right side, right? So they're just side by side. And both of those are in a container div, right? That's, you know, twice as big as the screen here, okay? And so when we click on the link here, you know, the container div slides all the way to the uh, to the left. And when I click on this link, it slides all the way to the right, okay? So that's, that's the overview of what we're gonna make here, right? So I'm gonna do this in uh, CodePen, I think, okay? So let's get started first by setting up our HTML. So, you know, I've got the HTML here, and what I need is I need a div to act as a container, okay? So um, this will be class, let's call it uh, container, right? And then inside here, we'll need um, two, um, two objects that will be um, content, right? So these are our two panes, right? So I'll call this guy content, and then I'll make a second one Right? And then if we want, we can give these guys an ID name or a second class name to make them look different. Let's call this one, you know, A, and this one can be called B. Right? They can share this style, right? And then this one will, can give them unique styles. Okay? So we've got container, and then it contains um, both um, content elements. Okay? So, uh, so how are we going to style these, right? So first of all, let's, let's start with container. Okay, so here's a short style for container. So container needs to have a width of 100%. Okay, so it's got to be at least as wide as the screen. Actually, you know, we want to have two of these content things, and the content things need to be the width of the screen. We're going to have to fit two of them in this container, so really this guy should be 200%. Okay, um, and then I also want him to be the width of this or the height of the screen and so I'll give it height 100 now when I give this height 100 we have a problem because the body tag um, is only as tall as its con uh, as, as its content so when we set height 100 really you're just saying hey let's be a hundred percent the height of our of our parent or our ancestor you know um, actually a parent I guess right so so um, if the body tag doesn't have any content in it, it's going to be zero height. And if this is 100% of zero, it's still going to be zero. So in order to make this 100% height work, we'll have to set the height of the body and the HTML tag to um, height 100%. Okay. So there we go. So that's working pretty good, right? Maybe, right? Okay. And so now we want the content to fill up these or fill up this container and put two boxes side by side. So what we'll do is we'll say content, you know, which is both of these guys, A and B, right? We'll say you are going to have a width of, now, now I want it to be half of the size of the container, right? So actually these guys are going to be 50%. And since this is 200%, these guys will actually, you know, this is 200% of the window here. 50% of that 200% is a this 100% right there, right? Okay. So uh, we'll do that, and then we'll say height 100%. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now let's try and fill these two in with a, a colored background, right? So we'll say A, your background um, color is, um, let's make it uh, red. I don't know, right? 
Oh, there we go. It's got the red there. Oh, you know what? We have this little space around the outside. So let's um, remove that. That's margin on the body tag. So let's say margin of zero. Okay, there we go, right? And now you can see this slides over because this is this is A. And then this one right here is B, right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's oops, let me uh, add another class there for B and say background color is going to be, um, I don't know, green. No, no, these are terrible colors. Let's do um, cyan. Actually, it's even worse, but uh, whatever. We'll just stick with it, right? Um, and for some reason, my cyan color is not. Maybe I misspelled it. Let's do. Uh, let's try green. There we go. Right. Maybe I can spell green correctly. Um, yeah. What am I missing there? I'm missing something. But this guy should be over here, right? Okay. Oh wait. Oh yeah. I forgot. He's down at the bottom because I forgot to move him side by side. Okay. So let's fix that. So content right here, why don't we say you guys are going to just be float left. There we go. That was my mistake there, right? Oh, now they're just side by side, right? Okay. So that works pretty good. But um, now, and you can see that these exist, right? They exist, you know, to the left and right of each other. And their container is twice as big as the screen. So that's okay, right? That's container up here. But we don't want the screen to scroll. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna make this not scroll, okay, and we're gonna scroll it with JavaScript. So what we can do is we can set the um, the body tag to overflow um, hidden. Okay, so I'll set it to overflow hidden. Oops, wait a minute, hold on. Shoot, I just accidentally did that thing there we go right okay so now I've got overflow hidden here and um, and it won't let me scroll this right okay um, if we do this though if we said um, if we set the container here now to get it to move with JavaScript what we're gonna do is we're gonna use position um, absolute right so I set container to position absolute right and then if I, if I, you know, if I, with my JavaScript, if I set like the left value to like negative 100 pixels, right, then that'll move it over 100 pixels, right? But if I set it, you know, how about negative 100%, um, right, then we would see the green box. I don't know why the white one keeps showing up there, but, but that would show us the green one, right? Um, let me see. There we go, right? Let's see, let's go. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I said 100% should have been negative 100%. There we go, right? That's my problem there. Okay, oh, now we get the green one, right? And if I said negative 50%, right, then we get gets halfway, right? So um, so we'll continue this in the next video, but, but this is our concept here. So we've got this container, and we're going to move our container left and right with some JavaScript, okay? So anyway, so thanks for watching, and then we'll, we'll continue this in the next video.